Yo YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. He is AC, and the Dal your team, your town, your Dallas Mavericks are the 2010-2011 NBA Finals champions. After beating the Miami Heat in six games, there's a ton to go over. AC, give me your thoughts. Um, incredible series. Some of you guys may know I picked the Mavericks in seven. Uh, ended up being Mavericks in six. Cookie, I believe Cookie picked that. Uh, yes, Mavericks he did. Six. He's texted yeah. me about ten times, telling me that too. Yeah, well, I mean, we've seen we've seen uh, guys for the Mavericks. The Mavericks basically this is what I have for this whole series. That the Mavericks played like a team. They played like a legitimate NBA squad. I mean, Jason Terry, uh, kid, uh, Nowitzki played good, except for the last game. They, they really they played and they worked together, and the the Heat just looked overmatched in this series, the, with the exceptions of the games that they won. They they looked completely overmatched, and uh, I think they've got some work to do. Yeah, and I think the unfortunate part for them is they don't have a ton of cap to work with to make that work. The only work they can do in the first off season move should be firing Eric Spolstra. Let me get I got a ton. So just to recap some of this game, LeBron had a good first quarter, but then it kind of died down. Um, it w Wade started slow, and then he picked up. It was really a game of streaks, and the Mavs won it like that. Jason Terry went off in this game. Uh, if you ask me, he's probably my finals MVP. I don't know. Uh, Dirk got in some foul trouble, shot awful the first half. Even if LeBron James had won the NBA Finals, he'd be getting killed for this, but... Dirk's not going to get it because he's not LeBron James. And, you know, he came up big in the end of that game. So I think you take a lot of that off of him. Uh, J.J. Barea had a huge second half for them. Uh, he was hitting on all cylinders. LeBron just disappeared in that third quarter. There, there, there's no other way to put it. He disappeared. Uh, for Wade, uh, he tried to do it all for them, and it, it just was not enough in the end for this game. LeBron ends up with 21 points. And uh, six assists, four rebounds. It's all right, but you, in the NBA Finals, you got to elevate your play, and he didn't do that. Dwayne Wade ends up with 17 points, eight rebounds, six assists. Solid game out of him. Solid game out of him. Uh, I think if you're looking at positive sides for this, if you're a Miami Heat fan, we're not. We're Sixers fans. At least you never have to hear... Hand down, man down from that idiot Mark Jackson anymore. But, I mean, the, the one thing I thought about this game is that he just, they had no sense of urgency. Did, did you not see that and notice that in this game? One thing I can't stand in sports is, I mean, especially in the elimination game, even in the playoffs, is when a team shows no intensity. Because that, that, that shows to me they have no heart, and, and it conveys the idea that they really don't care, and that... That kind of pisses me off. So, I mean, I didn't see much intensity at all out of uh, out of anyone on the court except for some of the Mavericks players, like Jason Terry. Uh, LeBron didn't show it. Dwayne didn't show it. Bosh certainly didn't show it. I didn't. I didn't see much out of out of uh, as far as intensity and, and a sense of urgency. And in an uh, can't talk right now. In an elimination game. You have to have that. It's required to win the game. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I mean, LeBron James, I, I can tell that he has that in his mind, and he just doesn't show it. And that's what makes people mad, besides the whole decision, which people ne need to move on from at this point. He's had a whole season there. Get over it. But at the end of that game, he's got his jersey untucked. He's going to get killed for that. I think he walked off the court without shaking the Mavs' hands. He's going to get killed for that. Because, quite frankly, he did the exact same thing a few years ago. He said that um, I, it's hard for me to shake the hands of the teams that I just lost to. And I agree with him. I, I feel the exact same way, and it's probably something I would do. But it's not a mistake you can make a second time and really get away with it. LeBron is going to be on blast. But walking off that court, I, I could just tell how pissed that he was. Why didn't he show that emotion in this series? Why didn't he get that Kobe-esque face on his face? I mean, he has more skill than Kobe. But Kobe has that drive. And I think LeBron James has it. But I don't know where it was. 
certainly didn't show up in this series, and it certainly didn't show up in, in Game 6. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's buried deep inside of him, and, and he just... I, I don't know what he needs to bring it up at this point, because if a Game 6 in the NBA Finals with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh on your team, where, where you feel you can win the game and the momentum shifting back in your favor, and that happened a few times in this game, and it still didn't show up. And I'm thinking to myself, what needs to go go on for this guy for this guy to just catch fire and, and show us something in the clutch? Because he's getting basically raped by the media for not doing that. And if anything drives you to do something, it's someone telling you that you can't. Yeah, I mean, I, I think he does show up in the clutch a lot, and I think that's an unfair statement when people make that. Oh, it is. But it, it, sh it should still motivate you. Like, that Bulls series, he clearly proved that he was clutch. He ended that series. He put them on his back. Wade played awful that series. They wouldn't have been in the NBA Finals without LeBron James. There's no other way to look at it. But the bottom line is he, I don't want to say he laid an egg, because he did not completely. In game three and four, yes, he did. Or, no, four and five, yes, he did. Game four and five. No, no, wait, wait, no, no, not game. Game five. I don't want to say he choked because he had a triple double. Game four was the one where he had eight points. Game three, he had like twenty. I mean, it's it's not terrible except for the eight points. But you're in the NBA Finals, and I don't want to be one of these people who says, "Well, Jordan never would have done that." No, he wouldn't. And LeBron James isn't Michael Jordan. But how do you not step up in that situation? All the hate he's gotten, all the criticism. I mean, for me, I, I would just put that team on my back. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't get what was going through his head. I mean, at least at least try to put the team on your back. You know, everybody has a bad game once in a while. But game um, three or w w I forget which game. Was it game three or game four where you only had eight points? It was game four. Game four. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't. You cannot do that. Okay? You have the entire national... Everyone in the nation is watching you and looking to see what you do this entire series. They're waiting for him to do something wrong. Exactly, and he just, oh my god, I, I can't believe, I, I can't put it into words how I feel about yeah, it. And let's just say one thing, we're not even LeBron fans, but we were one of the people who sat on here and said, you know what, it, it is wrong that they're doing this to him, because he is one of the great players in the game, and he'll, he will go down as one of the greater players of all time. But... I don't, I don't, I just don't, it's unfathomable to me how he didn't show that drive in this series. And I understand, and I've gained, learned that that's just not him, but it needs to become him. That, that's what I'm at. Mark Cuban, hand down, man down, the best owner in sports. There is no other owner who's sitting on the sideline the whole game, cheering and screaming with this team when they score basically the dagger. I mean, do, do, is there any way that there's any owner better in sports than him? I can't think of one if there is. I mean, is there anyone who would not want this guy to be the owner of their team? I, I He wants to win. He puts a lot of money into the team. He sits with the fans at the games. He, he's a great... He, who cares if he's insider trading? He's a tremendous owner, a tremendous basketball guy. And I'm happy to see him get it done. I'm happy to see Dirk get it done. I'm happy to see Jason Kidd and Jason Terry get it done. Because these guys have been in the league a long time. And they've worked hard at this. So it is nice to see them get a ring. It's just disappointing because you know what LeBron can do. It's just... As much as we're talking about LeBron, you know, messing up and this whole key team basically throwing this series away. you got to give mad props to the to the Mavericks. They really, they really deserve this one. They really, I mean, Terry, uh, a great player, great veteran. Nowitzki, one of the best of all time. Uh, like you said, Mark Cuban, probably probably one of my favorite owners of all time. He's, he's a great owner. Uh, yeah, I mean, people. Dirk just looked on a mission in this series. After he called out Jason Terry, Jason Terry, it lit a fire under, under him. He played tremendous after that. I mean, the Heat do not look like a team. They need a new coach. <laughs> Phil Jackson is out there, man. He, he might not say he wants to come back, but this is a challenge probably worth taking on. Just a, just a thought there. I mean, it, it's not probably going to happen. I don't know. I mean, normally when someone wins a championship, it's like a happy mood. 
A, I hate when teams went on the road. And B, the Mavs didn't even have like a celebration. That was what, uh, Dirk walked off the court. It looked like he was about to be in tears, which is understandable after being in the league this many years, having the drive that he has. But, I mean, the rest of the Mavs, it just, I, I don't know. It didn't seem I like... I think it would have been really pretty awesome if he would have like broke down on the court in tears because that would have really shown how much he wanted this and how much he really drove for it and how much he worked for it over the years. I think that would have been cool. But you know, it is what it is, man. They they won the series and, you know, I'm not I'm not wanting to get upset over a celebration or, you know, impressed with a celebration. It, it is what it is. You win a championship. You, you react to it the way you react to it. I've seen people be completely weirded out over their team winning a championship because they don't know how to feel. No, that that was me. We're from Philly for those of you guys who don't. When the Phillies won the World Series, I always pictured that I'd be jumping up and down because I'd watched the team since I was like three years old. I, I just sat there with my mouth open in shock. Like, it, it was so incredible to see it finally happen. See, that's what you did? I went down to my knees and, like, I started almost crying, basically. So, you know what I mean? Different people have different reactions. I, yeah, but if I'm a player, man, I am screaming. I am up there jumping on the score table. Throwing the chalk powder at LeBron. I mean, I'm doing it all if I win that championship because that's the moment you look back in your life and you say that was the greatest moment of my life or one of them. I mean, I remember winning a championship. I don't usually win in sports, but winning a championship in a sport, and I, I just think back on how great that moment was. And for the Mavs, it's it's a great thing for them to get a title here. Yeah, I I got a hand to the Mavs. They really. They really worked hard this season. They earned this one, and a lot of people were counting them out. And it's it's nice to see to see them prove people wrong because I, I like when people I like when teams, especially underdog teams, do that. I, I think it's I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and I mean when you look back, there was a first round game. Portland came back, and I, I almost I didn't say the Mavs were dumb, but I I was on the Blitz Hardcore podcast. And I said that this is the kind of game that teams just don't come back from. They were resilient. They swept Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. They beat the Thunder, not easily, but decently. I mean, it's amazing to me. It really is. Uh, this was the best NBA season I've probably ever watched. And the bottom line, whether you like it or not, the reason it was like that was because of the drama with LeBron James. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no real debate about that. Everyone's eyes were on the heat and the, and everything and all the bull crap that was swirling around. But you know what? Hey, made up, made for a good season. Let's really, really hope that there's a season next year that we can talk about like this again. Yeah, I mean, you, if you guys watched us last year, you know we weren't real into the NBA. I got back into it this year. I think that. The biggest market on YouTube is the NBA, and I really enjoyed covering it this year, and we will be back next year for sure doing the same thing. Uh, you can check out our channel. We're going to cover baseball. We're going to start doing our baseball show. We have a huge announcement on a new show we're going to be starting on the channel, and it's not going to be featuring me and AC. We're, we're trying to make our whole channel into like a network type thing, and we are going to add different shows on. We're taking the first step. Sometime, probably at the end of this week, we will make the huge announcement of what's going down. You're going to have to stay tuned and see what it is. Um, again, Dallas Mavericks, congratulations to you and your fans. You have won the NBA Finals. What are you going to do next? We'll see you later.